to open the back cover of any laptop you should first disconnect from the mains charger and you should remove the battery and you should also try and uh, press the power button to discharge static electricity for about 30 seconds from this point onwards make sure you're comfortable dealing with electronics otherwise consult a professional now make sure you're working on a non-static surface and uh, get yourself an anti-static bracelet if you need to when working with tiny electronics it's always helpful to have a little kit like this one i'm going to put a link below for an amazon affiliate link you can need a screwdriver phillips small one and you're going to need a spurger maybe even one of those little tool for opening uh, laptops and smartphones. So on here, there are some obvious screws and then non-obvious ones. The first one you may want to do is the DVD tray, which is here. Just remove that and you can remove the tray easily. Then you have some obvious screws around, which is going to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you have just above the battery one two three and four you also have two tiny ones here one and two they are different screws quite flat and then you have about four hidden screws two of them is going to be under this little plastic tab so you're going to have one here and one here and the last one on this model is going to be under this cap here next to the hinge you might want to get one of these to pry it open but it kind of clips off and same here for this one and there's a screw here and another one here to remove and that's all the screws now you can work from the back get yourself a little spudger and just go around to open the laptop or you can also work from the front starting from here pry it open Go easy, make sure you go round and unclick everything. Okay, eventually it will come off. Just take your time, make sure you don't snap anything. If you feel resistance, it means you probably have left one or two screws, make sure you do this very carefully. And we can remove the back cover, put it away. And here we've got the hard drive. So it just kind of lifts off. It's not really screwed in. There's these two clips, you can remove that. And this one and then you can disconnect it from the SATA connection. There we go. This is a two terabyte hard disk drive, spin drive at 5,400 RPM. These are usually the first things to go in most laptops. For the replacement, we're using a Samsung one terabyte 860 QVO. It's about hundred pounds, link below. And I'm just gonna clip that in. and put the couple of brackets, sort of a bracket. And put that down and it goes in place and voila, that's done. So now we can put the back cover on. You can clip it down, but do not screw anything in just yet because we're gonna want to test whether this drive is actually working. Now check out the links above and in the description below on how to create a USB installation drive and install Windows 10 on a new PC. Alternatively, I would highly recommend you also create a Linux live USB drive and give it a test drive. Check out this playlist for Linux for beginners. If you have enjoyed and benefited from this video, consider subscribing to improve your relationship with tech. This was Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from B to techie, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs>